We recently received word of your victory over the Emerald Weapon. I expect it was another fine display on your part, not that many of us were there to see it. For that reason, we'd be grateful if you could give us a blow-by-blow -blow account if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> this guy's writing my memoirs. Good grief. It sounds like you had an awful lot to contend with. Rather you than me, ahem. I shall add this to our ever-growing stack of reports. Should anyone wish to review this information ahead of the next sortie. It looks like your ordeals have taken their toll. I will let you know if anything requires your attention. But until then, be sure to get some rest. You know, it's always the secondary... It's always the secondary characters that care about me. Say, you know, rest your head too. Rest your head. Meanwhile, in the Vith Legion's Correction Chamber, 7th. Mmm. Valens. I can't wait to fight this guy. I'm gonna chop his head off. Three weapons. Three pitiful displays of ineptitude. Oh, look at this shot. Oh, Jesus. To make matters worse, one of my prime candidates, your precious sister, no less, has escaped. No way, they make the kid do it? What is this fucker? And who should she go crawling to but that swine, Gaius? After everything I've done to... For her. And this is how she repays me. As her older brother, it's your responsibility to instill some discipline in her, and you failed miserably. Nearly a slip of the tongue there, huh? He knows. He knows. He's a... He's a bastard. Look at this shit. This is messed up. Well, don't just stand there, boy. Her kid. Oh, of course. It's your first time, isn't it? Come along, there's no need to be shy. He's got a big nose. And bangs. He needs a haircut. You see, something wicked has taken hold of this young man. And it's our job to cleanse his troubled spirit. It may look painful, but it's the only way, I assure you. He'll be ever so grateful. And you want him to get better, don't you? Yeah, look at that smirk. There's a good boy. No. Let's try again, shall we? Burn out the bad. Burn out the bad. Burn out the bad. Let's go. Burn out the bad. Burn. Burn out the bad. Burn out the bad. Oh my god. This is just cult behavior. <laughs> Burn out the bad. Burn out the bad. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I wonder what's for dinner. Oh my god, what the fuck is this guy? Well done! You've all made Father proud. Very proud indeed. That... I don't know if that's a real smile or a fake smile. I can't tell. As for you... I thought you were a cut above the rest of the savages. But it appears I was mistaken. And since you allowed that wretched sister of yours to escape... It falls to you to act as her replacement. I chose you as the next pilot, and your mission is simple. 
kill guys von Belsar, whatever it takes. And if you so much as entertain the idea of betraying me again, I'll exterminate every last one of your kind. Like the vermin they are. Oh my god. Okay, so he's a racist too. Fuck this guy. Having said that, we will be forcibly initiating Oversoul using Xenos' combat data, so whatever schemes you may be hatching will never come to pass. All you need to do is sit back and let the synthetic Aurasite system do the work, with you as its conduit. You should thank me for allowing you to become part of my masterpiece. Your worthless existence will finally have some semblance of meaning. <laughs> Lord Valens, preparations for the Oversoul trials are complete. We await your order. He makes a kid carry the helmet as well. God damn it, man. This guy's a lazy shit. Splendid. There's never a dull moment around here. Now then, boys. Who'd like to see something special? <laughs> Bro! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not sign up for a story like this. Come along, everyone. Father has secrets to share with you. Yikes. Damn. Oh, he's good. He's alive. Okay, well, that took a twist. That took a uh, rather sick twist. This is my chance, and it's all thanks to the sacrifices made by my dear siblings. Finally, the weapon will be mine to command. So he knew this was going to happen to him. Once it has reached perfection, it will be unstoppable. First Valens, then the Empire itself will fall, and we will be free at last. Father, keep Ali safe. Aww. With a reflection of them, Melisandia, Rickon, Rex, I'll see this through to the end. I think it said, I promise. I promise. Until then, watch over me. Okay, maybe not the secrets we were all thinking. <laughs> this smile, man, every time. It's the eyebrows. So, is it ready or not? The trial sequence has been primed, sir. Then get on with it! Which weapon is this gonna be? Initiating synthetic oversight system. Loading diamond weapon simulation. Oh, okay. Diamond weapon. Oh, you poor fella. What's going on? You're helping us with a little research is all. Ah, what, whatever your name is. The time has come for you to contribute to the glory of Garlemald. This isn't what we agreed. You said that if I took part in the experiment, you'd let my family go. Oh, well, that's his family. You have Xenos' data loaded, yes? Activate Oversoul, and be quick about it. Understood, Lord Valens. 
Galvis combat sample ready. Initiating organic core overwrite. They have the what? Oh, jeez. My mind is... No. If this is what it takes to protect you both, I... I love you. I'm so sorry. Is he gonna turn into the Hulk? Or he just like melds to the, the weapon? Where is my prey? Organic core overwrite complete. Xenos Ye Galvis data loaded. <laughs> the hunt. Oh shit. Here we go again. Hmm, the subject is instinctively born to seek out prey right from the outset. Regardless of the combat progress it may boast, I need an obedient servant, not a ravenous beast. Enough! Shut it down. Deactivating synthetic aurocyte system. Ew. Oh my god. So did it did we just waste did he just waste his life? Is that what ha I mean I just watched that happen? I revolting. What a mess it makes is the cockpit. Adjust the settings and prepare for another run. Fortunately we have the next test subject ready and waiting. Yeah. Oh my god. And he's not gonna let them go either, is he? This bastard. But sir, he agreed to release his family in exchange for cooperation. <laughs> uh. My my. I never knew you had such a wonderful sense of humor. The great Valens Van Varro bargaining with savages? Ha! <laughs> More fool him for trusting me in the first place. Him we definitely have to kill. This guy's a fucking psycho. Ah, too. I was hoping I might have a word with you. Ever since Turncliffe was liberated, We've been sending troops to aid in getting the town back on its feet. Helping the residents, that sort of thing. We Alamegans know how hard life can be for societies struggling to stand on its own after years of imperial rule. A lot of what most people would take for granted has to be rebuilt from the ground up. While we're able to assist when it comes to providing basic resources and keeping the place safe, there are countless other problems that need attending to. If you can spare the time, we could use your help. Bless you too. You really are a saint. I'm sure the people of Turncliffe will benefit from having someone like you around. Once you're ready, have a word with your usual escort. I wish you all the best. You, you're the one who piloted that war machine and defeated the Sapphire Weapon, aren't you? I thought so. I've heard much about you, but I doubt you know who I am. My name is Avelina, and I grew up here. When I saw 16, I was put to work as a Magitech engineer. Thanks to you and yours, we are now rid of the Imperials. Though I fear many of us will struggle to put the past behind us. Generations of young people were forced into the army and sent off to die in some distant land. I suppose I could be considered one of the lucky few. My work here kept me away from the battlefield, and I hoped that my contributions might help the others live long enough to make their way home. In the end, most of them never returned. Though my efforts were in vain, I can at least honour their memory. I want to leave something behind for their sake to prove that they haven't been forgotten. A monument bearing their names. Oh, that's nice. To ensure that not a single person is omitted, I'd need to see the official list of conscripts. If one still exists, it would be inside the Imperial facility beneath the town. But with the Renaissance troops and ironworks engineers closing the place off, I can't get near it. She wants me to steal it. Okay. Perhaps you might have a word with them for me. I'll leave as soon as I find the list. 
I can do that. Thank you. I'll follow your lead. I thought I was going to make us steal it, but we just got to talk to them and be nice and convincing. Of course they wouldn't make you steal in this game. I see. It's a bit unusual for one of the locals to show an interest in the Imperials' leavings, but it seems she has her reasons. Since we're still carrying out our investigations, we've closed the place off to, to prevent anyone from interfering. Considering it's you who's asking, though, I can hardly say no. Still, I'd better go with her, in case the others kick up a fuss. You're very kind. Okay, that was kind of easy. But who is this Avelina? She's more important than I think. I'm sorry for any trouble I've caused. You have my thanks. Think nothing of it. I was glad to help. As I'd suspected, the Imperials kept detailed records of the local conscripts. One name in particular stood out to me. My friend, Melisandia. I had no idea she'd been assigned to the 7th Legion of all places. How did you know her? It all began when we were serving together in the 14th Legion. We had much in common, both being drafted from the same occupied territory, and we soon became firm friends. Then one day, she was sent to fight in Eorzea, while I remained here. The day before she left, she came to say goodbye, together with her foster siblings from the orphanage. Yeah, many of whom are now dead. The youngest one, Rickon, was particularly upset about not being allowed to speak with their adoptive father. Gaius van Belsar before they departed. It was actually another of his orphans, Livius Sans Junius, which she was Gaius's orphan? Who forbid them from seeing him. I can't say for certain, but it seemed that Livia had a strong attachment to Gaius and wouldn't let anyone else near him. Wait, I thought she was in love with them. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. As far as I could tell, he tried his best to keep Livia at arm's length whenever possible, but her devotion to him was bordering on obsession. Right. And she became extremely jealous at the slightest sign of affection between him and his other wards. Others, however, treated them far more kindly. In fact, Praefectus, Castrorum of the 14th Legion, came specifically to meet them. While I was surprised that a Rogadin had risen to such a rank, I was even more taken aback by the unguarded manner in which he spoke with his subordinates. I had hoped that with people like him serving on the Eorzean front, they would be in safe hands. Then the time came for Melisandia to leave. We shared a few final words, and then she was gone. It would be the last I ever saw of her. After that, I was assigned to the Tribunus Lat Laticlavius. Bro, this. What is this? Tribunus Laticlavius of the 14th. Nero Tolskeva and I worked on restoring the Ultima weapon. I was even at the Praetorium on the day it was destroyed, but I escaped aboard an Imperial ship moments before it came crashing down. I eventually made my way back to Whirlit, only to be drafted into the 7th Legion to continue working on the weapon project. Even now, it makes me sick to my stomach to think that I'd help bring those abominations into the world. Using a living pilot to feed the weapon's core was part of the design from the very beginning. Of course, they'd never dream of subjecting a trueborn Garlean to such barbaric treatment. Not when the 7th Legion has a ready supply of provincial conscripts ripe for the taking. The pilots were referred to only by their code names, and we engineers were not made privy to their true identities. Even with this list of conscripts, I still don't know who was sacrificed in the name of the weapon project. Your skills and knowledge can finally be put to good use. Let's bring an end to the weapon project together. I don't want to offend her. She probably did good work. Let's bring an end to the weapon project together. But what can I do? For years, all I've known is how to build tools of destruction. You just flip them around and build tools for not destruction. The Seventh Legion is far from finished. They're biding their time, waiting until the right moment to unleash the final weapon. And when they do, it will bring naught but death and woe to all who stand in their way. Even after everything they've taken from us. They still want more. If it weren't for the Empire, Melisandia would still be here. She was the kindest person I ever met. But to the Empire, she was just another pawn in their games. I will never forget her. There's a way I can make a difference. I know there is. But first, I need to speak with members of the Ironworks. I have a feeling that war machine you used to beat the Sapphire weapon 
will be called into action again. Fuck yes, let's go. Until then, there's still time to make improvements and I intend to help. I'll still be going ahead with the plan to build a monument, but stopping the empire must come first. I hope Melisandia and the others can wait a little longer. Who's gonna tell her? It ain't gonna be me, cause then she's not gonna do any work. Before I go, allow me to express my gratitude. I don't know what I'd have done if it weren't for you. Until we meet again. Sick! So, how was your time in Turncliff? I see. Fate has dealt her a cruel hand, but now she has a chance to make a fresh start. Same could be said of the whole of Turncliff. It seems the liberation of that one small town will become a pivotal moment in world's history. Perhaps it won't be too long before the rest of the region is free from the Empire. Naturally, we'd be honoured to fight alongside the people of Worlet. We won't rest until the Imperials are sent fleeing with their tails between their legs. Until that day arrives, we'll carry on doing our bit to support you and the others in ending the Weapon Project. I'll be sure to pass on any pertinent information. In the meantime, take care. Judy in the sky with, <laughs> with diamond, nice. I wasn't expecting to see you here, considering all that's been happening about Eorzea of late. Still, if you've a mind to assist us, we'd like to share the latest developments in Whirlit. And as luck would have it, here comes the ideal person to explain the situation. Thanks, I'll take it from here. Mmm, Minago! Wait, I know who she is, guys. I'm glad to see you looking so well too. How can I forget her? What, like, what the... No! Mango. Yes, it certainly has. I haven't seen you around Ralgar's Reach much lately. Anyone would think you're trying to avoid me. I would do everything in my power not to, if you ask, if you want me to be honest. But I don't like her homeland. They live at the top of a rock, so. But as much as I'd love to stand around chatting, I'm afraid I've got some serious business to discuss. Following the liberation of Turncliff, it seems the people of Whirlit also have their hearts set on freeing themselves from the grip of the Empire. Like-minded citizens have rallied under the banner of the Whirlit Revolutionaries, and they aim to depose the Seventh Legion that currently occupies the city. Nice! The theme as well. That's cool. Their ranks include many former conscripts, and between them, they possess no small amount of combat experience. The only thing they lack is someone to lead them. After much consideration, they decided to turn to none other than Gaius Belsar. Of course, many would balk at the thought of turning to a former enemy, and many did. But desperate times call for desperate measures. His reputation as a legatus speaks for itself, and as most Alamegans will attest, he was far more reasonable and pragmatic leader than his predecessor, the Mad King Theodorich, or his successor, Xenos, for that matter. But most importantly, he was the one who led the invasion of Whirlit in the first place. So who better than to have him take it back? After accepting their offer, he requested the delivery of additional arms and provisions from the Alamegan resistance. We've got our hands full dealing with the Telophori. Those are the Tars, right? Or is that the big dragon thing? As do the rest of our allies in Eorzea, but we'll do what we can. While my comrades see to the preparations, I've been assigned to meet with him in person. I was wondering, could you accompany me to Turncliff? Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks too. To be perfectly honest, coming face to face with the Black Wolf is a rather daunting prospect, even if he has supposedly turned over a new leaf, but I'm sure having you there will make a world of difference. I believe you're acquainted with our escort, yes? Let him know when you're ready to get going. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, Gaius Belsar, I presume? I come bearing the Alamegan Resistance's official reply to your request for aid. I see. You have my thanks. Does this mean we can finally make our move? With the assistance of the Alamegans, we will soon have sufficient arms at our disposal to stand a chance at victory. But lest we forget, the Seventh Legion has been conserving its strength thus far and we must be prepared for severe casualties should its full might be brought to bear. If our lives must be the price of freedom, we will pay it willingly. 
They look at Zahi, but with white hair. Let me be clear. We Alamegans have not forgotten that it was you who led the invasion of our homeland. The blood of our fallen loved ones is on your hands. Look at that lighting. Even so, the people of Worla chose you to lead the revolution, and we will honor their decision. I only hope they will not come to regret it. As do I. Should I be found unworthy of their trust, I shall submit to their judgment, and whatever that may entail. Forgive me, but might we return to the task at hand? First, I would like to discuss the transportation of supplies from Alamigo. This way, if you please. Once again, I prepare to lead an army into Whirlit. The irony is not lost on me. It is a cruel twist of fate that these people, so desperate from years of oppression, should turn to their conqueror for salvation. For most of my life I believed that only the Empire possessed the strength and wisdom to lead mankind. That only through great sacrifice could civilization hope to thrive. And so I led the conquest of Eorzea, forcing the doctrine of Garlemald upon the ignorant and uncivilized. In every territory I sought those with the potential for greatness, without regard for one's birth or circumstances, that they may serve the Empire. But there are those such as Valens who see being born as Garlean, a virtue in itself, one above all others. To think that a monster such as him should be granted the position of Legatus and everything that entails, it makes my blood boil. Let's go kill him! Valens brings shame upon our homeland and makes mock of the ideals it once stood for. By my hand, he shall pay for his foul crimes. We're running out of time, Gaius. We have to go after her. There is something I would show you, but not here. Come with me. Ooh. Whoa. You must keep this to yourself. I do not want the soldiers to think I am being distracted by personal matters. Hmm. This letter was found in her room. In Ali's room? Dear father, I'm sorry for leaving without saying goodbye, but the thought of Alphonse suffering alone is more than I can bear. Shit. For his sake, and for the freedom of Whirlit, I have decided to take matters into my own hands. I know of a way to save them, a way to end it all. I have to seize this chance before it is too late. My mind is set. Please do not try to stop me, Father. The days we spent together were the happiest of my life, and no matter what happens, nothing can take that away from me. With all my love, Ali. No. She is heading for the Seventh Legion stronghold on Whirlit. I'm certain of it. He's gonna go after her. Taking matters into her own hands. She must be planning to take control of one of the weapons. If so, there's no time to waste. We have to mobilize our forces and save Ali and Alphonse. I want nothing more than to save them, but I cannot ask the Warlet revolutionaries to risk their lives to rescue two Imperial soldiers. In any case, if we were to rush into battle without adequate preparation, the Seventh Legion would tear our partisan army to shreds and as capable a warrior as two is. If he were to charge headlong into the heart of the enemy, he would be overwhelmed by sheer numbers. But if we don't do something, Ali and Alphonse are as good as dead. I know, Severa. And so did Ali when she wrote that letter. Returning alive was never part of her plan. Hello? Can you hear me? I'm in Whirlit, just outside Castrum Kalinum. All hells have broken loose. There was an enormous explosion, and through the smoke and flames I saw what appeared to be another weapon. At this rate, the entire- <laughs> Can't find it, we have lost the signal. This must be what Ali spoke of in her letter. A way to end it all. 
Alphonse and the others were planning this from the beginning, to bring the weapon project to its completion and use it to free Whirlit from the Empire, even at the cost of their own lives. If the revolutionaries were to hear that a weapon has been unleashed upon the Imperial headquarters, they would see it as the perfect opportunity to strike. If it's running amok, it may not distinguish between our allies and the Imperials. A large force would draw too much attention, but the three of us should be able to get close enough without it noticing us. Good thinking, Severa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us three. The three musketeers. I cannot allow it. This is my burden to bear, and I shall bear it alone. Come on, dude. No, that's not happening. I'll have you know my record for surviving dangerous missions is impeccable so far. Convinced you? Yeah! Very well. For the time being, I will have the revolutionaries stand by and await my signal. An opportunity to reclaim Whirlit may yet present itself, but we must first be allowed to remove the threat of this new weapon. Sabra, have Sid ready the G-Warrior. A G-Wagon, baby! Understood. Once your preparations are complete, let us reconvene outside the hangar. Hey, We're gonna roll up. Hey, yo! Sometime earlier in the Vith Legion's Whirlit Headquarters. <laughs> this fucker. How wonderful it is to see you again, my dear. I was beginning to think that you weren't coming back. Is this Ali? The way he walks. In my impatience, I may have vented my frustrations on that brother of yours. I do hope you'll forgive me. Lord Valens. You mentioned before that the previous weapons were merely prototypes used to gather combat data within their cores. Yes, very good. I see you were paying attention after all. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. The primals they absorbed and the data they accumulated will serve a singular purpose. The completion of my masterpiece, the Diamond Weapon. These kids, they just stand there all day. But while you and your siblings were able to retrieve the necessary data from the ruby weapon before Gaius and his lackeys arrived, Sapphire and Emerald were handed to the enemy on a silver platter. Those worthless curs failed to meet even my exceedingly low expectations. Oh. As detailed in my report, I took it upon myself to infiltrate Gaius Belsar's band of rebels and reclaim the data. Yes, you have done well, my dear. My engineers have already finished feeding it into the diamond weapon. Then all that remains is for me to assume my role as its pilot, and for you to release my brother and the rest of our compatriots, as per our agreement. Of course, of course, he doesn't stick to his agreements, we know that. A handful of savages is a small price to pay for your remarkable talents. Even though the weapons project's revolutionary technology allows even an untrained pilot to fight with the skills of a veteran soldier, only the truly gifted can draw at the full potential of the synthetic orosite. In addition to their physical attributes and combat prowess, I require unwavering loyalty before I can even consider entrusting a candidate with one of my creations. And you are everything I desire. I am honored that you regard me so highly, Lord Valens. However, in return for my continued cooperation, I wish to propose an extra condition to our arrangement. Yes? I request that the people of Whirlit be given full Imperial citizenship and the right to self-govern. Oh shit. My my! How very bold of you. 
and quite astute at that. Yes, I could grant the people of Worlet citizenship if I so desired. Unfortunately, a mere legatus such as myself is in no position to simply relinquish control of Imperial territory on a whim. Come now, we both know that the weapons are but a means to an end. Your true intent is to march on the capital and claim it for yourself, correct? Once you've taken the throne, one small territory would seem a fair reward for those who played a vital role in the ascension of Emperor Valens. <laughs> His creepy ass laugh. I say, for someone so sweet and innocent, you certainly drive a hard bargain. Very well. If it's world that you want, it's yours. I'll soon have no need for this stinking backwater province anyway. And what about my brother? Ah, yes. Alwick. Or was it Alfred? Whatever his name is, you needn't worry. I've made special arrangements for him. Special arrangements. He'll be perfectly safe, provided you uphold your side of the agreement. Excellent. Now nah, let's get you aboard the diamond weapon, shall we? Ah, one step closer to my coronation. This camera again. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I know this isn't what Father would have wanted, but it's the only way. Please, forgive me. She doesn't know we're on our way. She doesn't know. But I bet what's gonna happen. Gaius is gonna have to save her, isn't he? And sacrifice himself. Oh no. Please. Initiating the synthetic Horosite system. All sensors activated. So far, so good. They're gonna make me fight her. Diamond weapon, codename Xenos. Commencing activation sequence. Don't use the Oversoul, Ali. Behold perfection itself. Melisandia, Rickon, and Rex give their lives. That others may live without fear. The Aurasite is taking hold. I'm just glad that you didn't have to go through with this, Alphonse. But you'll have to go on without me. You and Father still must work together too. I'm sorry, I can't be there at your side. This is the only way. What's that, my dear? Is something the matter? Oh, the diamond weapon is mine. Your tyranny ends here, Valens. Oh shit. Let's go. Blow him to fucking pieces. The Magitek cannons. Do it. Homing laser his ass. There we go. Wait, is he in the safety box? Lowborn filth. Do you think your little performance had me fooled? You're sorely mistaken. What are you waiting for? Shut it down. Yes, my lord. Transmitting deactivation signal. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Uh, it's not responding. Wait for it. That insolent whelp had me worried for a moment. <laughs> that smile. <laughs> 
bring her to me alive, even if it means damaging the machine. When I'm through with her, she will beg for death. Who's that in the back, eh? Oh, it's not us. I thought it was us. I thought we were riding in. Oh, shit. No! I can't let it end like this. Melisandia, Rickon, Rex, guide my hand. Aww. Alphonse, wherever you are, lend me your strength. <gasps> the magic of tears. Combat sample ready. Initiating overmind subject named Bzzzt. Is it her? Overmind? What is that? Whoa! Is she dead? This can't be. It's ignoring the shutdown signal and initiating Overmind. But how? <laughs> I don't care how. Stop that thing before it brings down the whole castrum. Oh. That's the, uh... Thing. Shit, right? Ready to depart. I'll send for Master Garland. We all expected another weapon to appear sooner or later. But not quite like this. According to Valdolin... After it finished laying waste to the headquarters of the 7th Legion, it took to the sky. Though this has dealt a massive blow to the Imperial forces, I am certain that Ali is on board the weapon. It must be halted before she comes to harm, and for that, I need the G-Warrior and airships to transport it. I see that one thing hasn't changed since your days of the Black Wolf, your penchant for gigantic war machina. But if this means the G-Warrior is another chance to shine, I'd be happy to oblige. Only this time, rather than having it unceremoniously towed by airships, I have a more dynamic entrance in mind. Really? Oh, with the help of, uh, Av Av Avelina. It's good to see you again, too. <laughs> yeah, from what I hear... We have you to thank for Avelina volunteering to help the Ironworks. Since she joined the team, our work has come on leaps and bounds. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to finally put my knowledge and skills to good use. As far as I can tell, your target is the Diamond Weapon, the most powerful of them all. What's worse, its design incorporates all of the combat data and abilities of the other weapons, making it a far more formidable than those you encountered before. Thankfully, we've had time to prepare for such an occasion. Would you care to elaborate? Let me put it like this. Thanks to Avelina's tireless dedication, the G-Warrior has been reborn. But there'll be time to explain more on the way. Come on, the Enterprise is waiting. I love how they always capitalize the Enterprise. The Enterprise. Or not capitalize, italicize. He gave it turbo jets. What did it get? What? <laughs> what? Is it carrying an arena? What? Very impressive. But may I ask what purpose it serves? <laughs> yeah. Since our objective is to rescue the pilot, we've added a means of capturing the diamond weapon. Oh, we're gonna grab it? We've come to save lives, not to end them. And for that reason, the G-Warrior has been reborn. I present to you the G-Savior. 
Sheesh. Okay. How do they make all this so quickly? Ironworks really is something. I'd be investing in that company. Oh, we're on it. Can I jump off? Oh, it's very cool. I feel like it opens up, you know? I feel like it goes and something's gonna deploy. Like maybe some lasers or something? Once again, Sid and his engineers have provided precisely what we require before we even knew it ourselves. Due to the added complexity, we'll have Guy as pilot while two handles the various armaments. Agreed. There will be little opportunity for us to grow accustomed to our roles. But even so, we must succeed at all costs. The cloud deck. Ah, because this is a deck in the clouds. I see. Let's see it. The cloud deck. Mark 1 anti-icon war machine the diamond weapon. So it said that this had all of the things of the other ones. Are we gonna get like mechanics combo? Target in sight, pin it down with a salvo of missiles. Oh, got little flares. Threat detected, returning fire. It said Neil voice, no? <laughs> slaps it away. Casually slaps a missile. Pull. Oh, it has five eyes. Look at us! Look at us go! That's a cool intro. Go, Carbuncle. Get him. Jump. No. Familiar meal voice, I won't let you harm my master. Who is this familiar meal? Ow. Wait, that's not Ali. No, it cannot be. What the fuck? Time for my next trick. GC of your Mark II opening containment fell. Use the teleporter to move between decks. Okay. Do we, do we go in it? Point claws three. We go in. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. Dude, I remember the last time I did something like this. It was the, uh... Oh, away we go. It was the Sky Pirates thing. And I died a lot. I always love it when I get an idol, right? Felt that one. It's never going to be easy. Let's see what you make of this. Oh, we stay away from the tank. Code G Z Stigma. G eleven Stigma. I have to keep fighting until my dream, our dream, has been realized. Oh, it's like an Ifrit. The true face of the diamond weapon. We're gonna get knocked back. Knocked up and back. We gotta get over. Whoa. 
Damn, this one's cool. Is this the same thing? Oh no. I'm fucking not. What was the cost called that he did that? Vertical cleave? No. I was following you guys. Don't worry, Ali, I'll keep you safe. This is gonna be our thumbs, right? Sorry to keep you waiting. The repairs in the Mark II should keep it airborne for now. <laughs> Absolutely no MP. We gotta wait, right? Okay, now we go. There we go. Oh shit! Wait. Now I go. Don't go. I don't know. Don't listen to me. It's a good song though, it's a good version of that song. Oh, on the other side! I like how they use the, the two arenas, it's really cool. Accessing Emerald Weapon Data to point beam units. What's this? Get across. Oh, wrong side. That was uh, that was me. Oh, that was on me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. 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 I guess I'm just I, I just have no mana this entire fight. That, that's cool too. That's cool. We get across. Oh shit, he's nearly dead. One percent! Ah he's dead! That's it, right? There's no secret second phase. The containment field won't hold. Pause, champ. Okay, that was it. God damn, that was cool. We must reach the diamond weapon before the Imperials. Where did it fall? Where are we? What if it fell into the middle of the sea?
Where is this? In all the years since the invasion, this place has hardly changed. I was expecting to find some sign of the 7th Legion here, but it would appear the diamond weapon has already taken them out of the equation. Is it still whirl it? I pray we are not too late. <gasps> the music. He's alive! Ali! Oh. Oh. We need Alfie. I can't do it. Who you can't- you don't have healing powers. Please, take her back to Turncliffe. I have some unfinished business to attend to. Are we gonna end what's-his-name? Or is he dead? He died in the big explosion, right? So this has got to be Alphonse. No, Gaius. Now to learn what has become of Alphonse. If you have a score to settle, now is your chance. Show yourself. He is still alive, this fucker! You big nosed fuck. Come to gloat, have you, Gaius? It's not over yet. Two legatuses. You certainly have an instinct for self-preservation. I would expect nothing less from the card who sacrificed his own soldiers to further his ambitions. How dare you speak to me of ambitions? You're the one who stood in my way at every turn. If not for your meddling, the Empire would have been mine! MINE! Enough of your delusions of grandeur. Where is Alphonse? Hey! <laughs> this is. Hey, hey, hey! Oh no. Why, well, he's right in front of you, eh? What? Once you hear the answer, you'll kick yourself for not realizing it sooner. You see, in all of the previous models, the combat data was either incomplete or unstable in some way, making their performance in battle wildly unpredictable. But then an idea struck me. He did he turn Alphonse into it? Rather than using data gathered in battle, I should use something a little more realistic. Turns out that beloved boy of yours was quite brilliant. When he put his mind to it. He put his brain in it? By my ingenuity, he has been reborn as the core of the greatest machine ever devised. None but the great Lord Valens Van Varro could conceive such a marvel. And to think that Ali came here to steal the diamond weapon, to save her brother, only to find he'd already become a part of it. Perhaps it wasn't the reunion she envisioned, I'm sure she was grateful nonetheless. Oh, that might also explain why Overmind activated all by itself. It was clearly an attempt to protect his precious sister. Fascinating anomaly, but I can't stand disobedience. 
Oof, 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 oof. He's not happy. That such atrocities should continue unabated is proof of the rot that has spread throughout the Empire. Oh. Let's go, Gaius. Your crimes are an affront not only to Garlemald, but to all of mankind. And now, you will die. It's a little smirk. Oh shit! The iPod? Uh oh. Have you forgotten, Gaius? I've seen your data. I know your every move. Such pitiful sportsmanship is a relic of the past, just like you. One bullet. Is this new? What the fuck? He hasn't seen this one. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's got the one down the middle. Terminus Est. Crochet Moors. What the fuck does that mean? But this wasn't in my data. Yo, Gaius is such a badass. He just whips out a brand new. Ugh. He just whips out a brand new alt like that. Uh oh. Alphonse? Reactivating synthetic aurocyte system. Oh no. Yes, yes, kill him. Kill him. Crush him! Yes, crush him! This can't be! How is it still functional? Removing memory inhibitors. Oh! <laughs> God damn. What? You? Ah, stop this at once. Please let me go. Albert, no. Oh no, he couldn't even remember his name. <laughs> even the names of those sacrificed in your twisted experiments are beneath your notice. You're beyond redemption. Who are you to judge me, Gaius? Do you remember the names of tens of thousands of men, women, and children killed for the sake of your conquests? I do not deny the blood spilled at my behest, nor will I run from my past. That is why I fight, to prevent the wrongs I committed from being repeated. It's- oh my god. You, you can't do this to me. I'm Valens Van Varro. Better than Gaius. It can't end this way. Thank God. Like a cork, you know? His little head comes rolling by. Oh, 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 oh. Alphonse? Oh, Gaius. Alphonse, my son. I have failed you. The rain. The timing on the rain. The 
But this is not the end. I will see your dreams fulfilled. This I swear. I ask only that you, Melisandia, Rickon, and Rex, watch over me. What does that mean? He's not going to do anything stupid, is he? You're not going to do anything stupid, are you, bro? Father, the memory stored in the diamond weapon. Give them to Ali. Watch over her in my stead. Father, I cannot go on like this. Please. Oh, his son is going to die. He must just be in pain the whole thing. The whole time he's in that. I understand. <gasps> he shouldn't have to do this. This is a new thing for a father to do. Thank you. I'm proud to call myself your son. Aww. The music as well. Oh. Damn. He finally got his father to be proud of him. Or I think actually it switched up. At the beginning, he wanted his father to be proud of him and all of them, all of the kids. But then it switched now that he's proud to be his son. But I think it's both because I'm sure Gaius was proud of him. I have a lot to think about. <laughs> it's missing. Damn, I, play I thought it was going to hit me. Okay. I see. We will remain here until further notice. That was Gaius, Valens Van Varo, and the Weapon Project are no more. Seizing the opportunity, the Warlit revolutionaries have taken control of the city. And even with the Empire gone, for people like me, life under Imperial rule is all we've ever known. We might never be able to heal the scars left by decades of oppression. While there is hope for those who have survived this ordeal, nothing can bring back the dead. The loss of my wife and daughter left a void in me that can never be filled. In the years since, I have struggled to find a purpose, a reason to keep on living. It is the same for Gaius, no matter how hard he tries to make amends. The children he lost are gone forever. Ah, uh, Saj. Dude, they need to make a sad version of Quest Complete. That's too triumphant for these moments. The recent events in Whirlit have had a profound impact on the lives of many, many people, but none more so than Ali. She's been in a state of shock ever since she returned. We've even called in Sid to see if he can ascertain what the problem might be. You see, there's a strong possibility that the diamond weapon itself is what's caused Ali to close herself off like this, but for the time being, all we can do is wait. Ah, there was one other thing. Avelina came by looking for you earlier. Oh, did she now? Did she? Perhaps you could go and see her. Thank you for coming to meet me. I'm glad to see you're none the worse for your experiences. Actually, I've been meaning to show you this. Oh, it's the memorial. Thanks to the Alamegan resistance, the monument to the fallen is complete. Though they may no longer be with us, we'll never forget them. This way, they'll always be a part of Turncliffe, and future generations will be reminded of the sacrifices that were made. Did she make it? As she did the stone and everything? God, she's so talented, isn't she? You were always so kind to me, and now it's my turn to do the same for others. Avelina is absorbed in prayer. 
Now would be a good time to return to Severa. But, but, but. No. Damn it. <laughs> hey. Hey. Struck out again. Yeah. Fuck. When will the warrior light ever get lucky? I hope all is well with Avelina. Actually, while you were speaking with her, I received word that Gaius will be here soon. He's so cool, isn't he? It's the way he looks. I wish to see Ali. Would you send for her? She doesn't think that's a good idea. Wait, she has her shirt on backwards? Does she even recognize me? No, she has it on forwards. At first, we thought the weapon's influence had caused this, but it seems there is more to it than that. The Chirurgeons say that it is most likely the result of intense trauma. Her mind has been scarred, perhaps irrevocably. Hmm. How do we get her back? She boarded the diamond weapon with the intention of saving her brother. Little did she know that Valens had used the synthetic orocyte system to transform Alphonse into a living component of the machine. Then, when she boarded the diamond weapon, she finally learned the horrible truth. What a way to find out as well. I've never heard of anything so cruel. Just a moment. In each of the previous cases, pilots became confused with the weapon's core. So how was Ali able to escape a similar fate? That's one of the many things we're still looking into. There is no need. I already know the answer. It was Alphonse who kept her safe. Oh, that would make sense. Aww. In the end, I was unable to save your brother, my son. All they wanted was a place to call home, where they could live in peace. But after all the pain and hardship they endured, this is their reward? No, this is not the end of their story. I taught them the strong must lead the weak, but absolute power corrupts absolutely, and those who have suffered at the hands of the corrupt are beyond counting. Alphonse dreamed of a land without oppressors and the oppressed, where all may live as equals. Thanks to his sacrifice and that of his siblings, the cornerstones of such a nation have been laid. Melisandia, Rickon, Rex, Alphonse, and Ali. They risked everything to win the freedom of Whirlit. And now, it has come to pass. I will see that their ideals are upheld. This I swear, as their father. The long and arduous process of rebuilding Whirlit has begun. In the days to follow, I shall be working alongside the new government to create a place that people like Ali and Severa would be proud to call home. For so long, all that kept me alive was hate, but the time has come to cast it aside. I'm going with you. I'll only regret it if I don't, and while nothing I do can bring back the ones I've lost, I owe it to them to make the most of the life I've been given.
Times change, people change, and it's just as well. We inventors would soon find ourselves out of work if everything stayed the same. <laughs> if you've a need for my creations, just say the word. Oh, From one garland to another. You know, Gaius, I could fill a book with all the things I've been meaning to say to you over the years. But what would be the point? What's done is done. There is one thing, though. If anyone can get through to Ali, it's you. She looks up to you the same way I did as a boy. Don't give up on her. Aww. Ah, oh, that's so good, man. That we finally get a conclusion to that from A Realm Reborn. It's just one of those scenes that you think, like, won't come to anything more, but they do something with it so far later. That's really cool. For all my life, I've been searching for my place in the world. Everywhere I went, I was always on the outside looking in. But I've realized, if we can't find one, we just have to make it ourselves. That's what I learned from Gaius's children. Despite everything, they never gave up. And neither will I. For now, at least, my place is at Gaius's side. I'll follow him and see where this journey leads. And before I leave, I want to tell you how grateful I am that you chose to stand by us until the end. I hope we'll meet again one day. All this time, I've been trying to convince myself that Gaius was every bit the villain I'd imagined him to be. The ruthless subjugator of nations. Evil made flesh. And while many who fight under the banner of Garlemald are all that and worse, I realize now that Gaius was driven by his own notions of right and wrong, misguided as they were. Since then, he has turned his back on the Empire and its hateful doctrine. His guilt and anguish only strengthen his resolve. The day I spared his life, he was given a second chance to set right the wrongs he had committed, to become the man his children believed him to be. I was a father once, a husband. In many ways, I still am. And even though they're no longer with me, I want to be someone they would be proud of. Now I too have been given a chance to make a difference in a land far from home. I'll never forget my past, but neither will I be beholden to it. When I meet the people of Whirlit, I'll be sure to tell the tale of your bravery and compassion. May I grant them the strength to face the struggles ahead. Pray, go in peace, my friend. Oh, the children that had to do the torture. <laughs> oh, they're, they're going to be, they're going to have some trauma. Well, here they are. And who might these charming young men be? They were found in the 7th Legion's headquarters, in one of the few areas that escaped unscathed following the Diamond Weapons Rampage. Perhaps that was Alphonse's intention. Do not be afraid. We mean you no harm. That thing on your forehead. My name is Gaius Belsar, and like Valens Van Varro, I was once a legatus of the Garlean Empire. Don't scare them, Gaius. Though I believed I was fighting for a just cause, my conquests came at a terrible cost. Pray forgive me. I do not mean to scare you. If you would lend me your ears, I have a story to tell. Aww, he gets a second chance with these kids. A group of courageous young men and women, not so different from yourselves, stood up to protect their people from the tyranny of the Empire. They fought with everything they had, and finally, victory was theirs. But it came at a terrible price. As their father, I still struggle to come to terms with their sacrifice. And yet, they have entrusted the future to me, and I will stop at nothing to see their dream fulfilled. Even so, there is only so much one old soldier can achieve by himself. I would be honored to have your support in the days to come. No. 
At ease, lads. He's not as scary as he looks. <laughs> if he steps out of line, he'll have me to answer to. Though they were unfortunate enough to escape the destruction of the cast room, they may have been injured while fleeing. Have the Chirurgeons look them over and find a place for them to stay. More kids! Oh my god. It seems the time has come for us to go our separate ways once more. I myself can scarcely believe that we were once bitter adversaries, but my encounters with you have led me to question the very ideals I swore to uphold. What is strength? What is weakness? If those who grasp the reins of power are said to be the strong, then those who lack such power must therefore be the weak, for better or worse. However, we are far more complex creatures than that. I see now that true strength is not granted by others, but resides within us. Strength of character, of spirit, of resolve. Therein lies the power to cast off the shackles of oppression, to overcome any adversity, to stand firm in the face of impossible odds. That is the strength you possess. May it never leave you. It seems I will have to summon all the resolve I can muster if I am to keep my promise to Alphonse. The process of establishing the independent governance of Whirlit is underway and I will do all in my power to see it become everything my children dreamed of and more. For the immediate future, we shall continue to work closely with the Alamegan resistance, whose role in the revolution cannot be understated. That reminds me, if you are passing by Porta Praetoria, the soldiers stationed there wish to hear your version of events. Please give them my regards. I hope that when our paths cross again, I will have glad tidings to share with you. Until next we meet. Bam. Welcome back to Congratulations on another hard-earned victory. Ever since we first started the news, we've been dying to hear exactly how it all unfolded. So what can you tell me of this diamond weapon? By Ralgar's beard. Even for the Empire, that must be a new low. Those poor orphans. I can only pray that the citizens of Warlet are able to enjoy the freedom that Gaius' wards give their lives for. At the very least, we need no longer live in fear for the monstrous creations birthed by the Weapon Project. I shall add your account to the official report. Finally, on behalf of the Alamegan Resistance and the whole of Eorzea, for that matter, Allow me to express my heartfelt gratitude. Thank you. G Wagon Warrior, baby! I expected a mount, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted the G Wagon mount. Ooh. Cut. Scene. <gasps> Avelina? My dearest? No, that's Ali. Oh, the memory stored in the diamond weapon give them to Ali. <gasps> oh. Can he bring her back? Pause, champ.
Aww. It's him. What? Oh, it's all of the friends. Aww. It's everyone's memories. <laughs> It's the random guy. Remember the random guy came back? Oh, man. They're like, well, that was strange. So with it. Are they just temporarily? Oh, it's Livia! Psycho bitch. I'll never forget her dropkick. Best KO in history. Ali. Aww. Projections from within the synthetic orosite. These are his memories. Their memories. Ali? Oh, do they get to speak? I don't want to live in a world without you. That's why I'm going with you. What? No, not yet, Ali. Now is not your time. Father still needs you. Please take care of him in our place. And if you're worried about Alphonse, don't be. He's got us for company. We want you to see this new world for yourself. Aww. We will forever be at your side, Ali. <laughs> Chad.
This song never fails. I'm the only one left. But I'll never be alone. Oh. Father. Because he's there with her. Is that for the four of them? The doves? Oh, man. The symbolism. Thin. <laughs> oh god damn no okay i didn't think it was gonna hit that hard didn't think it was gonna be that sad at the end i thought we were gonna gonna get her back and just be all happy and i guess we were a little bit but again it's that bittersweetness that emotional bittersweetness i think they ended omega with finn as well right they always do it with the good endings of side content it's like they know it it's like yeah we we know you're crying finn Okay, well, that was Sorrow of Whirlit. The trial series for Shadowbringers, definitely my favorite one so far. The trials were super fun. I liked how they took pre-existing things that we've seen before in dungeons or trials um, in terms of mechanics and put an interesting spin on them with like updated things and adapting them more to the Shadowbringers kind of formula of raids and, and trials. So that was cool, but it also managed to keep it like pertinent to the characters and the story as well, which I thought was really well done. The story, it was a nice way of connecting the dots between some of the things we saw in A Realm Reborn, particularly with Gaius, but also with things like Livia, um, but with enriching their characters in a way that just provides more depth to the world and really just bridges the gap between the expansions, especially after like Gaius's hastily return and reveal during Stormblood, at the end of Stormblood, we never really got anything past this mysterious guy uh, hunting Ashians and he was very solemn in the way that he spoke and everything. So it, it's nice to get a lot more from him and get a more emotional side from him as well. But I love the dark turn that we took with the story. I was a little bit concerned that we were going down a route that was a little bit weird, but I feel like Valens was a great character mainly because they did him so well that you just love to hate him. And that's always what makes good for a, a good antagonist. So I really enjoyed that. And as well, I think that the comedic kind of angles of his character and the story of him helped keep it a little bit above board, especially with the directions that we were going. So yeah, they struck a good balance there. But as with everything Shadowbringers, they somehow managed to wreck your emotions in the end. And I can't say it enough, like this expansion storytelling has just been so, so good in that sense. Like everything's ended up bittersweet, has been left on somewhat of an ambiguous level in certain aspects, but provides enough closure as well to these characters. In particular, the ending cutscene in Turncliffe where we had the ghosts of their friends and loved ones coming back. And it was, again, just bittersweet. It felt like closure, but also sad. So I guess much like the other two msq finales in this expansion but yeah thanks to everybody who joined in the trials i hope you guys had fun as i did and uh i can't wait for the extremes that we're going to be going through as well so we're going to be trying those out um in eye level as we do so i'm looking forward to those and seeing how like they differ from the normals and yeah i think that's pretty much the last remaining checkbox ticked before the big finale of Shadowbringers, the last patch, the last MSQ we have of this expansion. So I can't believe we're here, but we're nearly in Endwalker and I'm no longer going to be a little sprite and you guys all unsub. Yeah, anyway, of course, I have the Alliance raids as well that I'll be doing probably after 5.5. But yeah, next up, 5.5 big finale stream. I hope you guys can join for that. I hope to see you there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and become a member if you want to help support the channel. Appreciate all you guys uh, over on Twitch as well. YouTube members, you guys roll. And I'll see you all for the last patch of Shadowbringers next time. Take care. Peace.